in a short time, it will be a year since the COVID-19 pandemic drastically changed our lives. We've experienced on and off restrictions in different areas, shifting our accessibility to resources. The routines and lifestyle we were used to became reshaped. For introverts, it's nothing drastic. It might even fascinate them watching extroverts struggle to adapt and stay indoors. People with disabilities probably watch in wonder as able-bodied people find it hard to work remotely at home. Experiencing restrictions has made us realize how hard it is to live a life within the four walls of our homes. Imagine people with developmental disabilities who live with restrictions. We've been confined for quite some time now. When we go out, people maintain their distance, afraid of possibly contracting the virus from a random person. Have you ever experienced going out recently to do necessary transactions and people avoid you? It doesn't feel good. People with developmental disabilities have received that treatment multiple times in their lives. It's as if their condition is contagious like a virus when it's not. The global pandemic has placed us under strict conditions. It has limited our activities and actions. Restrictions are present everywhere you go. We aren't welcome in certain places if we don't have a mask, since others won't feel safe. Before we had these restrictions, people with developmental disabilities experienced the feeling of being unwelcome. It happened in certain establishments because others were uncomfortable around them. Not everyone is open and understanding about their situation. The accessibility shift we experience under COVID-19 is an opportunity to learn and see things in a unique perspective. Surely not all people with developmental disabilities experience the same thing. Some are social, highly mobile, and live just like everyone else, but they all have limiting conditions in their lives. We can learn a thing or two from our experience with a global pandemic. Notice that no matter what we do to keep ourselves safe and show that we are in good health, people still keep their distance. People with developmental disabilities do something similar by putting in their best effort to become part of the community, but some people just won't believe in them. While we struggle to live in the new normal, adjusting to the limitations placed, let's remember some of us live with limitations long before the pandemic arrived. We wouldn't have imagined the year 2020 to play out like this, but we can learn some great lessons from it. If it's hard to live life this way, let's learn from it and do what we can to put a stop to discrimination and avoidance of those with developmental disabilities. Let this experience change our perspective so we can be open and welcoming to everyone. And remember, First Choice Family Services is your information resource for the DSP industry. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you can stay connected.